Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another drop list video, the series where we cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, we're going to be covering everything that is releasing in week six of Palace's Spring 2021 collection. Yes, guys, week six. Uh, as I mentioned last week when we covered week five, I feel like the season is wrapping up because in week five, we got six items from the seasonal range. In week six this week, we're only getting five items from the seasonal range. So we're getting less and less from the seasonal range each week. Now, to make this week feel a little bit bigger than it is, Alice has also announced a collaboration with Lottie's, a skate shop based in LA. Uh, they, they mainly focus on with their own pieces. They focus on like a gothic black and white drawn uh, art style that's used on like little characters, little like I don't know, little graphics and stuff like that. That's their style. So Palace has brought them in to fill this week up with a little bit more items so it isn't just a five item week. <laughs> and it does actually fill it up. There are quite a few items releasing between Palace and Lottie's for this week. You'll instantly notice when we change to the collaboration when we're going through the images because we'll go from normal Palace pieces to Palace pieces with crazy all over gothic graphics on it. So you'll know when the collaboration hits. <laughs> I reckon this is probably gonna be the, it's gotta be the last or second last. It's gotta be at least the second last week for Palace's Spring 2021 collection. Next week, if there is a week seven, that's gonna be a purely collaborative week. There's no way we have anything left in the seasonal range that's releasing. If we do, it's like three pieces or less. Anyway, so this week for week six, how we're going to cover this week's drop list is by using, of course, a Hypebeast article. We'll head on over there now and we'll cover the drop time and the drop date for week six. Here is the Hypebeast article that we're going to be using today, guys. Uh, as always, it'll be linked down in that description section below if any of you guys want to have a read. We won't read the whole article, though. We'll just read uh, the release details. So. Palace's Spring 2021 Week 6 drop and its Lottie's collaboration set for both an in-store and online release starting March 19th, 11 a.m. GMT time. So that's the normal time that it releases on its British online store and in-store. Uh, then if you are in Japan or in China, it'll release the next day, March 20th, so the Saturday, uh, in its, you know, respective time zones. So if you live in Japan, it's going to be 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time. And if you live in China, it's going to be 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time on the WeChat store, because I don't think there's a physical store for Palace in China yet. There might be one in the future. But that is all the release details, guys, for the EU, for the US, and for the rest of the world. It's releasing on the 19th. For Japan and China, it's releasing on the 20th. That's all we really got to say, guys. That's the release details. So we've only got one thing left to do, which is to cover all the pieces that are releasing in this week. We'll cover the first five pieces, which will be from the seasonal range, and then we'll talk about the Lottie's collaboration. So let's get in and start talking about item one, which is this Pal is Ace jacket. As just mentioned, here is the first item releasing this week, guys. The Pal is Ass jacket. I know, Palace really loves to name their pieces whack-ass names. What we have here is a very util utilitarian weathered jacket that has pal, ass, or palace written on these two front pockets here. It has two smaller pockets, another pocket on the left breast there. It is just covered in pockets. Not to mention, I think on the sides there, I can see on the seams that there are further horizontal pockets as well. So look, you're going to have a lot of storage options here. We've also got a Triferg branding. I don't know if we have any branding on the back of it. The, I, the, yeah, the photos don't really showcase that. So I think it's just branding on the front. We have it coming in a variety of different colors. We have it in like this off-white cream color. We have it coming in a black with a very contrasting white Triferg on the left breast pocket here. And then we have it in one more color, which is a very nice navy. I gotta say, the navy does really pop here. They're the three colors we're getting it in this week, guys. Uh, it's the only jacket releasing this week from the seasonal range. 
Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this first piece down in that comment section below. But we'll move on now and see what the second piece releasing this week is. The second piece in this week's drop from the seasonal range is the Square Patch Crew Neck. Uh, it's simply just a Palace Crew Neck sweatshirt with a little square patch dedicated to a trifurc. It's a very, very basic piece. If you just like Palace's um, Crew Neck sweaters and you want something super simple, this is the one to go for you. It comes in a couple colors. It comes in this pink, comes in like a golden yellow, comes in like a a sand color, comes in a gray, and it comes in a black. A very weird arrangement of colors, honestly. Not very traditional palace color palette there. But anyway, that's all the colors released in this week, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this second piece. Uh, but we'll move on now and have a look at the third item releasing this week, which is the uh, same piece. It is the Square Patch Joggers. So the square patch joggers, uh, they come in the same colors that the square patch uh, crew neck comes with. So you can kind of get a whole tracksuit vibe going. It comes in a pink, it comes in the yellowy orange, it comes in the sand, comes in the gray, and comes in the black. So those colors there, you can get it matching with that crew neck sweater. I think that would honestly kind of be a vibe. It's so minimalistically branded then you could just pick up both pieces and you barely even notice that they're palace pieces. So if you just want some like all cotton, uh, you know, Sunday outfit just to chill out in and home, I feel like this is a great place to go to. The first three colors are a little bit too wild for me. I'm not really interested in those, but the gray or the black, I would get those in the matching crew neck just to like chill out in. I won't be going for them this week though. I've got enough like sweatpants and crew neck sweat, uh, sweatshirts. <laughs> Don't need any more unless they're like crazy and amazing. Then I would consider buying more of them. But yeah, not for me this week. That is item number three, the square patch joggers. We'll move on now and have a look at item number four, which is of course a very, very basic piece. We have at item number four, but the basically a t-shirt. I know, exciting. <laughs> this time, however, it does actually have a little palace tag down here, which isn't very traditional of these basic uh, t-shirts. Also co-branded lining over here and little, also not co-branded, but branded lining over here and palace branding right there. It comes in a couple colors. It comes in a pink, comes in a sand, comes in a navy, comes in like a, very soft salmon pink comes in a gray comes in a brown really yeah very strange of palace to release a brown one and a black one so a variety of different colors for this basically a t-shirt very simple piece they release these like every single season it's just a nice little piece to pick up if you want something that's really minimalistically branded and you just want like a really wide fitting tee that's this is where to go this is your, your palace piece that you can pick up this week if you're looking for exactly that. I will move on now to the final item releasing from the seasonal range, and then we'll move on to the collaboration releasing this week. The last item to release from Palace's seasonal range is this basically a cord six panel cap. I know, kind of lackluster from the seasonal items releasing this week, but that's okay. We'll cover this last cap and we'll discuss that. So we have it coming in a pink cord. We have it coming in an orange corduroy. We have it coming in a navy corduroy, a green corduroy, a brown corduroy, uh, it comes in a black corduroy, and that's it. So then we move on to the Lottie's collaboration there. So yeah, the seasonal range this week, I gotta say, it's pretty lackluster. It's just some like Alice Essentials pieces. And then this jacket releasing at the start, the Pal is Ass jacket. The rest of it is just your essentials. So let me know what you guys think of the seasonal range release, uh, seasonal range items releasing this week. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are you going to pick any of them up or are they a skip for you? We'll now move into the collaboration releasing this week, which is the Lottie's collaboration. So let's dive into the remaining 38 images, guys, and see what's releasing in this collaboration. So here we are at the collaborative pieces, and this is what I meant by the gothic, dark, all-over graphics 
that Lottie's is doing with Palace this week. <laughs> like, it is wild, man. Look at this terrifying ass looking face over here and this boy over here. Crazy. I kind of like it though. I especially like it that they kept it like black and white. Very simple with color, but very loud with graphics. I think that's sick. I love it. I think it's awesome. This first jacket is really, really cool. I hope it comes in an inverted color. So it's white with the black graphics. Let's see if that's the case. Hey, they actually changed the graphic for this white jacket as well. They didn't keep the one from the black graphic and it features a little bit of red, which that's okay. That actually works very well with the black and, uh, black and white. The red works well. Some Chicago colors right there. <laughs> Although it's primarily white and black, so not really, but yeah, no, this is dope. This is a sick, dope piece. I love this. This week is actually really cool with this Lottie's collaboration because honestly, the seasonal range items that we just covered at the start were kind of lacking. But anyway, let's keep pushing on and see what other things are releasing this week. Ooh, I like these. This is cool. So they've gone with a hoodie with a very gothic palace logo on the chest, a chain graphic all over the top of it, barbed wire down the arms and flames on the head. This is really cool. I like this. I like the use of graphics. I like the use of color. They've done a good color palette on this piece. Uh, let's see what other colors it comes in. Okay, so the next photo is actually to showcase the back of the piece to showcase what the graphic looks like on the back. I thought it was going to be blank on the back. I'm actually super happy it has a graphic on the back as well. What do you guys think of this piece? It says it's a fine life over here and it has a huge demon on it on the back or whatever it's meant to be and palace next to the head with scratches down the back of the piece there. This is awesome. I love this art style being done all over the pieces. Does it come in other colors or is it like one color per style? Because the jacket at the start, it was the same piece, but they switched the graphics up when they switched the colors up. So is that the same scenario? Let's push on and see. Okay, so it looks like it's the same graphics, but just different colors. Does it change when we hit the back of it? No, it doesn't. It stays the same. Okay, well, that's fine. I actually quite like that it comes in other colors. This one I'm not feeling as much. I got to say this brown and orange one at the start, that's the one I'm vibing with the most. But let's keep going. I don't know if there's any more colors of it. There is. It comes in a gray as well. The gray, I don't know. The black is hitting really nicely on this piece, but the white, I'm kind of, you kind of lose the white a little bit on the gray. Uh, I'll, maybe the back of it will look cool. The back of it looks sick. I love that graphic on the back. Yeah, I don't know. I still feel like that first one, the brown and the orange one, really is hitting different though. But I do like these other colors that they're showcasing as well. I don't know if there's a fourth color. There's not. We're moving into a different piece now. So there's only three colors of that hoodie. We have a basketball jersey uh, next, which has the same gothic palace logo on it barbed wire down the bottom, a bunch of angry daisies down there. I mean, this is a cool piece. On the back, it has It's a Fine Life with like another demon looking face on it. This is actually pretty crazy. This is pretty cool. This is not what I expected from a palace drop. I'm really liking this. Does it come in any other colors? It does. It comes in a yellow and a black. Not really feeling this one as much. And I'm not gonna really wear a basketball tank top like in any scenario, really. Like I just, I would not wear it. It's not my go-to item. So I, it's a bit of a miss for me. I don't know if it comes in a third color though. It doesn't. We move into the t-shirts now. We have Palace with a very angry little mushroom above the Palace logo with, oh my God, that is an awesome graphic with a dragon with a bunch of like demon children climbing all over it, riding the dragon, <laughs> holding a bunch of angry flowers. Damn, this is wild. I can't believe they, I, oh, and it also, I, sorry, I just realized it also makes a triferg on the back of it. A little triangle obviously hints to the triferg logo. That's cool. I like that. That's a super sick graphic. We'll see if there's any other colors of it. There is, it comes in like a very light washed out red. Love the white graphic on the back of that. It comes in a gray with a black graphic on the back of that. I think that's very cool as well. It comes in a black with a yellow on the front of it and a yellow graphic on it. That's a good color combination. Black and yellow works really, really well. Then we get a long sleeve with a uh, punk with very, very spiky looking mohawk on the top with uh i can't read what that says i think bear the something i don't know 
Don't know what it says there. It has palace written down the sides, bunch of other gothic graphics. I'm assuming it's gonna have something on the back. It has a sick skull. That's awesome. I love that. That's a crazy graphic. I love it's one little like eye down there. Man, that's cool. But does it come in other colors? It does. Comes in a uh, black and a yellow. This looks really textured though. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it on the black one now, but this looks like a really textured long sleeve. It kind of looks like a knit. But it's a long sleeve because you can see it doesn't end, uh, the bottom of it doesn't end like a crew neck sweater. But it looks textured. I don't know if it's just the photo, but it kind of seems that way. I could be totally thrown off though. I could be wrong. It could just be a normal cotton long sleeve, but it looks textured. Yeah, even looking at the back of this one, like it still looks textured. I don't know. Gonna have to look at the drop. I don't know what's the deal with this long sleeve, but it looks like it's more than a cotton tee. How are you guys finding this Lottie's collaboration with Palace so far? I think it's super dope. I'm loving these graphics all over these pieces. We also get a flannel uh, with these wild graphics on it. I kind of like the pieces before because they were done on like blank canvases. So the graphics are really easy to see. When you do it on a flannel where there's already a pattern all over it, you kind of get lost in what's going on. I don't know if you guys agree with me on that. Definitely let me know in the comment section below if you agree on that. But I think keeping it like nice and simple with a, like a blank canvas and then doing the graphics on it just gives it that pop. This is a little bit too wild. Would have been nice on just some like normal button up tees instead of flannels. We'll see if they've got a back shot and then other colors as well. They do have a back shot. It has all these other graphics on it. Skaters killing around skulls big ben flowers it's crazy it's got a lot going on but again it's just really hard to see with that already existing flannel print on it comes in another color with some white graphics even this one's really hard to see like i can barely tell what's going on like what's going on around this area it's really hard to see i again would have preferred these on just normal button-ups uh it, it continues on the back with a different graphic as well I don't know if it comes in a third color. It doesn't, we move on to jeans. See, look how much easier this is to look at because the jeans are just one color. The graphics that are all crazy and all wild are so much easier to see on this piece. I hope these jeans have a um, different color. They do, they come in a black with the white graphics. I remember stuff like this was like super popular like five, six years ago, having like gothic graphics all over your jeans and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> that died off pretty quickly, but hey, if you want to relive those days, you can definitely pick it up with this palace drop here, and then you can get the matching jacket and just have like a full gothic um, outfit there. Pretty wild stuff. It has basketball shorts as well. Not really feeling the basketball shorts as much. Uh, there's not much going on on the back of them either. They'll probably come in the same colors as well, so there'll probably be a black one next. Yep, as I called, as I thought, it, they're going to have the matching the same with the top. Yeah, um, yeah, the basketball stuff's a bit of a miss for me from this collaboration. We've got three more images though. Let's see what else is being released. We have some caps. That's pretty wild. The caps aren't for me, but I know a bunch of people are going to really get around this because people love like satire and crazy graphic caps these days. I think that's the last few pieces. And we get a denim bucket, uh, bucket hat. I think that's a really cool piece. Shame that the panels kind of like break up the graphics and the graphics aren't consistent from panel to panel. But that's okay. I didn't expect as much. But yeah, wow. What a crazy, crazy week six drop, guys. That is everything releasing this week. The Lottie's collaboration definitely carries this week. I wasn't feeling the basketball stuff as much as the other stuff. Definitely like the long sleeves, the short sleeves, and the hoodies were the highlight of this collab. Oh, and the jackets. The jackets were absolutely crazy. Actually, I think everything but the flannels and the basketball stuff was actually really good from this collab. It definitely carried the week because the seasonal items were a bit of a letdown. But I want to hear from you guys down in that comment section below, below. How do you feel about this week's drop list? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you like the collab more than the seasonal items? Let me know everything you have to say about week six down in that comment section below. But that's everything to be said about week six drop list, guys. Uh, personally, out of everything that released this week, I think the collaboration really carried this week. Uh, the seasonal items are a bit of a snooze, but it's coming to the end of the season. Like, I swear this is the last week, if not the second last week, of Palace's uh, Spring 2021 collection. So there's nothing that they can really drop that's, like, going to blow our minds 
because they all dropped it earlier on in the season. <laughs> so they're like, crap, we have to get like Lotties and all these crazy people to collaborate with us so we can release some good stuff at the end of the season. Which is fine because yeah, they really did a good job with that collaboration. There were some awesome pieces releasing there. I don't mind the jackets too much or the hoodies. They're pretty cool. But the rest of it, as much as I liked it, I don't think I would pick any of it up. But it was very nice for week six. I got to say, it's going to appeal to a lot of people. And I know a lot of you guys out there are definitely going to pick some of it up. I want to hear from you guys though, is there anything you're going to pick up from this week? Is that Lottie's collaboration something for you or not for you? Is the seasonal items for you? Do you like the basics that they're releasing in week 6? Let me know, let me know all your thoughts and opinions on week 6 down in that comment section below. And if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace weeks, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below and a subscribe to the channel as that's the best indicator for me to let me know that you guys want me to keep releasing more palace videos and also we are trying to hit a new subscriber milestone today well sorry this month which is 2890 subscribers but like less than five subscribers off guys to subscribe today and hopefully we can reach that milestone before the end of march but that's all I really have to say about week 6 guys. I don't know if this is going to be the last week of their spring 2021 collection. We'll just have to see next week and see if there is a week 7 or if we're going to get the new season. So until the next palace video, until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear talk video in general guys, I'll catch you later.